Hi and um, welcome to my Mini Sprint. I have quite a few Minis and special cars that I've collected over the years and this particular car is very special. It's a Neville Trickett genuine um, shell that's been adjusted for the height as Trickett does and it's got quite a few little special details built into it. The car was built probably over about five to six years. It took a lot of work and hundreds of man hours as you can imagine. All the glass is, was individually made. Each, each piece of glass were made for the car. A lot of these sprints that have been designed over the years have used Perspex windows, not this car. Also, even the rear window is a cut down front windscreen that fits the back. A unique thing that Trickett did was the A pillars on the sprints, the original sprints, the front windscreen still fits, which makes the A pillars the same size. But of course, if you think of dimensions, because the C pillars and the B pillars are cut down, that means that the roof would be slightly too long that has to be cut back to fit everything in. So there's an awful lot of work goes into building these. The upholstery was all specially made by a company called Newton Commercial, who specialise in upholstery for classic cars. But because of the everything inside lowered, all of the uh, upholstery had to be had to be made specially for the car. Even the roof lining had to be taken apart, the cage of the roof lining altered in shape and then put back together again to fit the car and as you can see it fits perfectly. The engine is a, an original MED Cooper S engine and it has straight cut box, straight cut drop gears. The engine in the car is actually big valve head and goes very very well. It's running on inch and a quarter carburetors which means that you're getting the maximum fuel economy and torque out of a very quick engine. It revs clean, it's a delight to drive. All of the wiring harness was brand new. Just about every single part of the car was either good used or new fitted. All of the shell has had about two gallons of wax oil put into it because when Trickett welds the car, of course you've got lots and lots of welds from where the cuts and everything were made. So one of the issues some sprints have had over the years is rust, not this car. Every seam and everywhere has been injected with wax. When Trickett does the uh, welding of the cars, he uses glass gas bottles. The problem with welding with bottles is that it distorts the metal because it puts too much heat into one spot. So when the car came back from the Trickett modification, it went to old school minis in Birmingham and I spent a considerable amount of money there with them. They reworked all of the, the shells, minimum filler fitted, to get the panels perfect and then it was all painted inside and out. As you can see, an absolutely beautiful job. Another thing I did when I built this car, because I, I wanted everything possible to be right, um, it has fully adjustable suspension both the front and rear. The front tie bars and bottom arms are adjustable and the rear radius arms are fully uh, adjustable as well. So you can set the car up perfectly. Also the ride height is adjustable. Front, It's sitting on high lows, front and rear. So you can alter the height as well as all of the geometry of the car. This is obviously a very special car to me. Um, if you think it might be of interest to you, please contact me on my email adrian at corkles.com